Once upon a time, there were a race of creatures called Culets. Culets were a happy bunch, all bright and shiny. The Culets thought they had the perfect society, and it was hard to argue the point. They had wealth and privilege, and sheer overwhelming numbers. Then one day, the fair princess who ruled over this kingdom made a surprising announcement to her subjects. I have decided that it is our solemn duty to bring our infinite bounty to those less fortunate than us. Let us go forth then and spread our message to the ignorant, to the primitive, to the ugly. I say to you, fear not, you will be saved. And the Culets rallied round her. It took some getting used to, but eventually they became downright militant about it. And that's when the problem started. It's another per per perfect day in fabulous Geetopia. Skies are sunny, not a cloud in the sky. Chance of rain? I don't think so. What's happening in news, Max? Well, Maya, Operation Fresh Hope, the expansion into the provinces, couldn't be going any better. Negotiators are on the scene working out all the details. Local residents seem overjoyed by our boy's arrival. Everything is as right as rain. Oh, sorry, I know you don't like that expression, Maya. <laughs> Max. In fact, a spokesman for the princess says that acceptance of the new regime is sitting at about 99.9%. .9%. Why is there always the odd bad apple, Max? I don't know, Maya, but you're right. There's always a malcontent. Raze was his name. When he returned to his village to find it being saved, all he could do was stand there in shock and awe. Surprised and frightened, he looked first to the heavens, but there was no help there. Powerless to defend himself, he turned and fled, desperate for a place to hide. Fearing capture, Rays ran into the forest. Hey, there's another one over there! Get him! Hey, where are you going? We're saving you from your horrible, icky ugliness! Surrounded, he ran deeper into the forest. By some quirk of fate, he stumbled into a cave that held an ancient artifact with very special powers. Powers that had no effect on most. But on rays. Waiting a long time for you to come along. Look at you, quite the change, huh? Um, ugly creature from the village? Are you in here? So, you want me to show you how to get a little payback? Revenge is a good thing, trust me. Didn't 
sound like a doulet. That looked like fun. <laughs> Want to learn some more tricks? Follow me. Your people have long used squibs as food, but now eat some and you'll learn their true purpose. fighting. Feels good, eh? But you've been weakened by the battle. No problem. To regain your strength, simply inhale the giblets of dead Hewlett. Hey, hat rolling. It's gross, but it's certainly effective. The rest of the evil little bastards are back in the village. All lead the way. You can go faster if you like. It is. Let's see if you're a quick learner. lead you to them and you, well, you can kill them all. I'll take that for a yes. It is pretty bleak. It's a waste sector, one of the most remote outposts. But they've been known to bring prisoners here at times. I don't know if any of your kind are here, or if any of them were left alive for that matter. But something was in that truck. You never know. Look, 
Yellow squibs. Those will be helpful. Now, you have two different weapons. Let's find some culets. I'll show you a neat trick. Squibs and others you will encounter give you better sight and hearing. treat for you. Sneak up on this one. Go for the quiet kill. Sometimes the subtle approach works best. Or look ahead. I am so bored. I am so bored, so bored. I am bored.
and I'll do some more scouting at the main camp further up. Great things together, you and I. Forget him. Move on. There's more of them on the other side of that garbage masher. I've marked a generator that powers it. Destroy the generator and join me on the other side. Uh, 